I'm gonna show you how I made $300,000 on Amazon in my first year. I then taught this method that I'm gonna show you to a student who ended up making almost $180,000 on Amazon in his first year. Plus, using this method, he made an additional $90,000 on his own website, another $100,000 on Indiegogo, and over $30,000 by selling his product into retail stores and on Etsy. That's over $500,000 in his first year selling on Amazon using this method. But still, people say that Amazon FBA is dead, that it's too saturated, that it's too late to make money selling products on Amazon. So to prove to you that Amazon FBA is still a great opportunity, I partnered with a random student with no Amazon FBA experience and we're launching this new product in one month and we're going to document the entire process of creating this product on this YouTube channel. So make sure to hit the like button because I'm going to show you in this video step by step the best way to actually make money on Amazon. This is the exact method that we're going to be using to launch this new product on Amazon. And later in this video, I'm going to introduce you to my business partner and show you exactly what our product is before we launch it, which nobody does. So make sure to stay till the end of the video. But most people fail on Amazon because they're doing it wrong. They're selling the wrong type of products. This is the type of product that you should be selling. But there's three common ways that people sell on Amazon. The first is where you find a product in retail stores or online that's at a discount. You buy it and then you sell it on Amazon for the full retail value. For example, you can buy this product right here for $129.99. And then if you go on Amazon, it's currently being sold for over $300. You can buy their product on their website and then sell it on Amazon for over $300 and you can keep the profit. This is called retail arbitrage. The next way that you can sell products on Amazon is by going to sites like meetmabel.com where you can buy products with a wholesale discount. This product is only $6.95 per jar. You then buy those products and you list it on Amazon where it's currently being sold for almost $14. This is called wholesale where you buy products with a wholesale discount and then sell it on Amazon for the full retail price. The last common way to sell products on Amazon is where you find a product that's already selling well. And here's a secret, you can actually find out exactly how much any product on Amazon is making. You just go to the product, you scroll down to the best selling rank number, which is 181 in this case. You then copy that and you go to the Jungle Scout free sales estimator. You then paste that number right here. You select the marketplace, in this case, the United States, and you pick the category, which is toys and games, and you hit estimate sales. And you can see that this product right here is selling over 11,000 units per month. And if you do the math and we multiply it by how much each unit costs, this product is making over $100,000 in sales every single month. And what you can do to make money is you can go to websites like alibaba.com, type in what you're looking for. So in this case, it'd be alphabet flashcards, hit enter, and you can see that there are a lot of people selling alphabet flashcards. Let's go down to this product right here, which looks very similar to the product that's being sold on Amazon. We'd click on this, and we can see that they're selling this product for about six cents a piece. What you would then do is customize this product a little bit, add your own branding to it, add your own designs, and you could sell this product on Amazon. And as you can see, you can make a lot of money. This is called private label, where you take an existing product and you add your own branding, your own label to that product. The problem is, even though those first three methods that I explained to you are probably the easiest ways to get started on Amazon, they're not the best way. And it's true, you can make money with retail arbitrage, wholesale, and private label. The problem is that it's very hard to actually make a profit from these methods and maintain a long-term sustainable business using these ways of selling on Amazon. And that's because there's over 1.1 million active Amazon sellers and 4,000 new sellers joining every single day. And around 85% of all sellers are either doing private label or wholesale. So if you find a good product, it's just a matter of time until someone else comes along, finds the exact same product and steals your opportunity. On top of that, with retail arbitrage, you're constantly having to go out and hunt for new products. That example that I showed you earlier, where you could buy a product for $129.99 and sell it on Amazon for around $300, only lasted a little while. Since filming this video, the price on Amazon is actually now below the price that it is being sold for on their own website. And this is because of supply and demand. There might be a short period of time where there's a lot of people that wanna buy a product on Amazon and they don't know that they could go to the website and buy it, but over time, people find this out and that opportunity disappears. And with wholesale, there's not enough profit. 
For instance, the product that I showed you earlier in this video, even though it looks like such a good product to sell on Amazon, it only has a profit when you run the numbers of around 26 cents per unit. And that's because if you're selling this product for $13.79, you're gonna have to pay a dollar in 10 to Amazon as a referral fee. This is just anytime you sell a product on Amazon, you have to pay Amazon a part of the money. Plus there are fulfillment fees. They're gonna charge you around $5.40 in fulfillment fees. This is the fee that Amazon charges you to pick, pack, and ship the products from its warehouse and send the products, including shipping, to the customer. On top of that, there's monthly storage costs. And once you do all the math and you include the cost of the product, which was $6.95, the leftover profit is going to be about 26 cents per unit. So even though you can do impressive revenue numbers with wholesale, it's usually not a good model to actually make a profit. And if you do get lucky and you find a product that does have good profitability, there's nothing stopping someone else from coming in and stealing that same idea and undercutting you. And the same is true for a private label. Ultimately, these three most common ways to sell on Amazon, even though they are the easiest ways to get started and dip your toes in, these are not sustainable, there's too much competition, and it's too easy for other people to copy your products and sell exactly what you're selling on Amazon. But selling products on Amazon is still a huge opportunity. Amazon is projected to do over $500 billion worth of sales on their website this year. And next year, that number is gonna jump up to over $600 billion. On top of that, there's over 150 million prime customers on Amazon. This is people that pay Amazon money for the ability to shop on their website and get their products delivered faster. But what's even more interesting is that number is going to continue to grow year after year. But there is a way to sell on Amazon that does still work. This is what I did and what I taught AJ to do. And best of all, this way of selling on Amazon is actually a profitable way to make money with Amazon. For instance, with AJ in his product in his first year, he did almost $280,000 in sales on Amazon. And he paid around $84,000 thousand dollars for all those products that he sold on Amazon. He also paid around $43,000 for the Amazon selling fee, plus another $40,000 for the Amazon FBA pick and pack fee. On top of that, he had to spend around $12,000 in other expenses to run his business. So in his first year, just on Amazon, he did over a hundred thousand dollars in profit. Plus by using this method that I'm going to show you in just one minute, he was able to sell his exact same product on his own website into retail stores, on Etsy, and best of all, he was able to start this business with zero dollars. That's because he was able to raise over a hundred thousand dollars on Indiegogo. And Indiegogo is a way for you to pre-sell your product before you spend any money on your product. All you need is an idea and you can show people, I'm gonna be creating this product. He was then able to raise $100,000, which was enough money for him to hire a designer and do his first production run. So in total, he was able to make over $170,000 profit in his first year selling on Amazon. And he was able to start this business for $0 using this method that I'm going to show you. And this is the product that we're going to be selling on Amazon. Let me show you how I found this product as well as step-by-step step how we're actually going to launch this business and pay attention because this is the exact method that you can use to actually make money with Amazon. And there's four steps to this process. The first step is to find a product that you're going to sell. This is called product research. And I found this product on Amazon that's doing over $80,000 in sales every month per flavor. And we can know that very easily by using this plugin called Helium 10. And this makes finding out how much any product on Amazon is selling very easy to do. And it's a free extension to Chrome as well. I'll put a link to it down below in the description. You just click on this tool called X-Ray and it'll show you exactly how much the sales are. And we can see right here that each flavor is doing around $80,000 every single month. But the key is we're not just going to copy this product. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna make a better product than this. And I can see that people are buying this product because it's a high caffeine tea. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a better, higher caffeine product and we're gonna make better branding because when people go to Amazon, what they do is they search for things that they wanna buy. And so someone might come and they might search for high caffeine tea. And you'll look at the results here. And when I see these results, none of these products scream high caffeine tea to me. So step two is we're gonna go to a website like Fiverr or 99designs.com and create a logo and packaging that scream high caffeine tea. Because when people search for a high caffeine tea on Amazon, we wanna make it so when they see our product, they wanna click on our product instead of the competition. And if Amazon sees that people are constantly clicking on and buying our product instead of the competition, they're gonna put our product to the top of the search results. Step three is to find a manufacturer. And you can go to websites like alibaba.com, 
click on, instead of products, suppliers, and type in whatever type of a product you're looking to purchase. For instance, in this case, we're looking for tea. And this will give you a list of hundreds, if not thousands of different suppliers that sell tea. But for this product, we don't want to have it made overseas. Instead, since we want to get this manufactured in the United States, we're going to go to thomasnet.com and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to type in tea. And this website is basically like the Alibaba of American suppliers. So we're going to look here and there's 191 different tea suppliers. We're going to contact every single one of these and see if they can make the product that we're trying to create. After you have the product manufactured, you might make around 500 units. You're then gonna take those products and ship it into the Amazon warehouse. This makes it so that your product is prime eligible, meaning that when people go on Amazon, they can buy the product and get it within two days. The other thing that this does is it allows you to take advantage of Amazon FBA. FBA stands for Fulfilled by Amazon, which means that every time you get a sale on Amazon's website, Amazon will have your product already in their warehouse. They'll then pick, pack, and ship out the product within two days to a customer, which means that you're gonna get not only more sales because people are more likely to buy prime products, it also means that your business kind of runs automatically because as I mentioned, Amazon has over 150 million people that are going to Amazon every single day and searching for products. So they already have the customers looking for the products you're gonna sell. On top of that, they're gonna handle the fulfillment for you. But there is one more crucial step and that is to list your product on Amazon. And since this is a brand new product, you're gonna to have to create your own listing for this product. And your goal is to make it so that when people see your listing in the Amazon search results, they're gonna to wanna to click on it and ultimately buy your product. And the way you do this is by creating a really enticing main image that stands out amongst the competition. So you wanna look at your competition and make sure that the colors that you're using are different from what everyone else is using. Also, you wanna make sure that whatever people are typing into Amazon to find your product, that the main image and the title represent that. One of the ways to do that is to figure out what people are going to type into the search bar and make sure you include that search phrase in your title. Amazon's gonna see that you have that search phrase in your title and they're more likely to show your product at the top of the search results. And if your product's at the top of the search results, people are much more likely to click on it. In fact, the number one product gets majority of the clicks followed by the number two, the number three, and the number four product. And it's actually exponential. So your goal is to really get to the top of the search results. Once you get your product made and listed on Amazon, if you do it properly, you're gonna get sales and Amazon's gonna fulfill your products, which means that you can stop working on your business, but it's gonna continue to get sales because you're gonna continue to get people on Amazon searching for your product and Amazon's gonna continue to do the fulfillment, which means that you can work when you wanna work, you can live wherever you wanna live because this is all online and you can travel and enjoy your life instead of constantly having to spend time on your business. And I'm gonna introduce you to Willem and we're gonna share exactly what the product that we're gonna be launching on Amazon is in just a minute. But I wanna be clear that yes, using this method, people can still copy your product. And this did happen to AJ. He had competitors that copied pretty much the exact same idea of his product. But those competitors aren't making nearly as much money and it hasn't hurt his sales at all. And that's because AJ is actually passionate about the product that he's selling. And when you're first to market, when you're the first one to create a product, you have a huge advantage because you're gonna have more reviews than the competition. And so people are more likely to buy your product if you have more five-star reviews. This is why I always recommend when selling on Amazon to create a passion product a product that's unique and better than the competition, and ideally something that you're actually excited to work on. You don't wanna just sell a product because the numbers make sense. You wanna make sure it's something that you're gonna have fun when you're working on. So let me introduce you to Willem and explain exactly what our product is. Hi, my name is Willem. I've been working online for the last couple of years. I really enjoy traveling. I really enjoy having a location independent lifestyle. I was looking for a way to make a new source of passive income online and through a YouTube rabbit hole, I found Travis and his FBA Amazon program. So you ended up joining the Passion Product Formula, which is my Amazon FBA program, but then how do we get connected? How did you end up partnering with me on this? Yeah, so I was in the course for a little while. I was brainstorming product ideas. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do, but as I was going through that process, I recognized in myself that I wanted more energy throughout the day and I was brainstorming different sort of like energy formulas. I don't drink coffee because coffee upsets my stomach and makes me feel a little bit anxious, a little bit jittery. I do drink tea, but tea is not quite strong enough for me. So as I'm going through this brainstorming process, Travis actually reached out to some of us students and offered the idea to partner with him on a high caffeine tea, the highest caffeine tea in the world. And as I saw that opportunity, I thought, you know, that's very aligned with what I'm already kind of thinking. 
And so I reached out to Travis and we began working together. And we're actually gonna be documenting the entire process of starting this business. We're gonna be talking about how we did the product research, how Willem found a manufacturer, all the legal things associated with it, designing the logo, the branding, and designing the actual flavor itself. Plus everything that goes into starting an Amazon FBA business, we're going to be making a YouTube video about on this channel. But for me, what we decided to do is create a product that's, as Willem said, the highest caffeine tea in the world, but it'll have black packaging so it'll really contrast and stick out on Amazon search results, plus it'll have red letters that says high caffeine tea, so it'll be really obvious that this is the highest caffeine tea in the world, but there's more to it than just high caffeine. You wanna talk about that? Sure, so uh, we added 200 milligrams of caffeine to each tea bag. That's a lot, I mean, it's, it's for, for reference, coffee is about 90 milligrams of caffeine. Red Bull is about 115 milligrams of caffeine. So we added 200 milligrams of caffeine in each tea bag, but through my experience, with not being so happy with coffee because it gives you anxious anxiety or jitters or whatever, I wanted to add 100 milligrams of L-theanine to each tea bag as well. And L-theanine is a compound that's naturally found in tea that gives you a calm focus. But with that much caffeine, I added more L-theanine. So there's 100 milligrams of L-theanine in addition to the 200 milligrams of caffeine. And for nootropics people and biohacking people, that might be recognized as the limitless formula stack. It gives you clean, long-lasting energy. So L-theanine and caffeine alone are a great combination, but with the tea that we're creating, it tastes great and, I mean, it's, it's a nice way to start the day. On top of that, the packaging is organic and compostable, and really, at the end of the day, this is a premium product, and it's something that Willem's actually passionate about. He needs a little bit more energy throughout the day, and he said, hey, this is something that I would love to partner on. That's what I always recommend. If you're gonna be launching a product on Amazon, don't just private label something, create something unique, something that's better than the competition, and remember that Amazon's a search engine, and people are going to Amazon to search for things, so when people search for something related to your product, you want your product to stand out. And what's the name of the tea for everyone at home? Yeah, so we went with the name Rocket Tea. We wanted the most obvious tea for anyone that wanted a high caffeine product. And we're gonna be talking about in a future video how Willem came up with that name. There's a really cool strategy that he used to come up with that name. But if you're interested in seeing this entire process of us launching the product, I highly recommend clicking the link in the description down below, get on the waitlist, because when you join the waitlist, you're gonna see the entire process of how we launched this product, all the emails we send out, all the things that we do, and you can copy those for when you launch your own product on Amazon. Because when you launch a product on Amazon, you wanna make sure you get as many sales as possible from day one, and ultimately as many reviews as possible within the first couple of weeks. This will lead your product to go up higher in the search results and ultimately mean more sales for you. And when is the date that this product's actually gonna be launched? So the date that we're gonna be launched on Amazon is September 20th and that's when the website will be live and that's when you guys can buy this at home. And make sure to join the waitlist if you're interested in this product because as I mentioned, we need to get as many sales as possible from day one. Thank you guys so much for your support and for your interest in this product. I really hope that you enjoy it. Keep your eye out for Rocket Tea. And if you're interested in launching your own product, definitely consider joining Travis's Amazon FBA program. He's a great mentor and coach. I'll put links to the waitlist and to the program down below in the description or right here. Go ahead and click on that. And thank you guys again for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.